Each year, over 2 million tons of sheep wool are produced worldwide. To meet this colossal demand, thousands of operators shear and process over a million sheep every day. But have you ever wondered how that pile of dirty, fluffy wool transforms into soft clothing and luxury fabrics? Well, today we'll travel to Australia, home to one of the world's largest wool processing factories, where over five tons of raw wool are cleaned, treated, and spun every hour, ready to become your favorite garments. So get ready, because today we're going to discover how sheep's wool is mass-produced. Let's begin! Step number one, mass shearing and fleece collection. It all begins on large industrial farms, where millions of sheep are bred specifically for wool production. From birth, these sheep are fed and monitored with absolute precision to ensure their wool grows dense, uniform, and of the expected quality. When each sheep reaches eight months of age and its fleece exceeds three kilograms, one of the most intensive processes in the entire chain begins, mass shearing. Sheep are moved in groups to controlled handling areas where they are safely placed on special benches. There, a light sedation is applied or they are carefully immobilized to prevent sudden movements or accidental cuts. Then, operators, using high-speed electric shearing machines, remove the entire fleece in a single piece without harming the animal's skin. Each shearer can process over 200 sheep per day, collecting a total of up to 1,000 kilograms of raw wool. After this, the freshly cut fleece is shaken, aired, and spread out on sorting tables, where a specialized team separates the cleanest and finest fibers from the dirtier or tangled areas. Parts stained with dirt or manure are removed and designated for different processes. Once sorted, the raw wool is grouped and pressed into large bales, each weighing up to 400 kilograms. There, it's labeled with all key information, and once they're completely ready, it's time to transport them to the enormous textile factories where their true transformation begins. Step number two, industrial washing and impurity removal. Once the bales of raw wool arrive at the factory, one of the most critical phases of the process begins, removing everything that isn't fiber. The enormous bales are opened and placed on conveyor belts that lead them directly to the industrial washing area. There, the wool is submerged in a series of large tanks with hot water and special detergents. During the process, the fibers are agitated, rinsed, and centrifuged at different temperatures to remove all dirt, dust, and any embedded vegetable matter. Literally, they're like giant washing machines operating on an industrial scale. The goal is clear, to leave all the wool spotless. After this initial treatment, the wool is rinsed with clean water, centrifuged once more to remove excess moisture, and then passes through temperature-controlled drying tunnels. The result is fluffy, clean, and soft wool, ready to enter the next process. Step number three, combing, carding, and fiber alignment. Now that the wool is clean and dry, it's time to sort out all that chaos of loose fibers so they can be transformed into yarn. The wool is fed into enormous machines called industrial carding machines, which are basically giant metal combs that spin at high speed, separating, detangling, and aligning each fiber one by one. During this process, the strands pass several times through toothed cylinders that stretch and uniformly distribute them, removing knots, loose debris, and any impurities that survive the washing. After carding, the fibers emerge as a kind of long, fluffy, and compact web, similar to a dense cloud of wool. But that's not all. This web is now fed into combing machines, where hundreds of mechanical microcombs remove the shorter fibers and select only the longer ones, which will result in a higher quality product. The final result is combed wool, perfectly aligned with a soft, continuous texture, ready to become real yarn. Step number four, transformation into yarn. With the wool now combed and perfectly aligned, one of the most delicate moments in the entire chain arrives, transforming it into a fine, long, and strong yarn. Operators transfer the fluffy webs to the industrial spinning machine, a machine equipped with precision rollers that stretch the fibers to their maximum and twist them with millimeter precision to form a continuous, firm strand. This process isn't left to chance. If the twist is too strong, the yarn breaks. If it's too weak, it loses consistency. That's why every parameter is automated with surgical accuracy. Depending on the type of garment or final product to be manufactured, the machine is calibrated differently. A 
thick yarn for thermal blankets isn't the same as an ultra-fine one for winter underwear. Once ready, the yarn is automatically wound onto giant industrial bobbins, capable of storing up to four kilometers of uninterrupted strand. There's no margin for error here. If something fails, even a single poorly tensioned strand, the line stops immediately, and that entire section is reprocessed from scratch. Step number five, dyeing and color setting. The bobbins of yarn are moved to the coloring area, where one of the most visual moments of the process begins, submerging them in enormous industrial vats filled with liquid dyes. These mixtures are precisely formulated for each type of wool and desired shape. During dyeing, the bobbins of yarn rotate inside the vats at different temperatures and with controlled pressure cycles, allowing the color to penetrate to the core of each fiber. If the temperature rises too high or the time isn't right, the result can be disastrous. Dull colors, uneven tones, or even completely ruined yarn. Once the ideal color is achieved, the bobbins are carefully rinsed with clean water to remove any excess pigment, and then undergo a heat treatment that sets the color so it won't degrade with washing or daily use. At the end of the process, what emerges is yarn with a uniform, vibrant color and the necessary strength to be converted into real fabric. Step number six, industrial weaving and fabric formation. The large bobbins of dyed yarn are placed onto automated industrial looms, where hundreds of threads are tensioned with absolute precision to begin weaving. This process isn't done by hand or with simple machines. We're talking about completely robotic systems that interlace the threads using mechanical needles moving at incredible speed, performing thousands of stitches per minute with millimeter accuracy. The entire system is digitally controlled, and depending on the final product, the type of weave is adjusted. Thicker and more resistant for coats or blankets, or lighter, more flexible, and softer for undergarments or delicate clothing. These machines can generate over 100 meters of fabric per hour, forming enormous, wide rolls, perfectly uniform, without errors, and with the exact texture needed. At this point, the material already has everything required to become clothing. But before reaching the garment workshops, it still needs to undergo a final treatment and pass strict quality control. Step number seven, final treatments and quality control. Before becoming a real garment, every meter of fabric must be perfected. The fabric moves through large spraying tunnels where rotating rollers and high pressure nozzles impregnate it with key compounds such as softeners, anti-shrink agents, liquid repellents, or thermal protectors, depending on the intended use of that wool. Each one serves a specific function, such as giving it a more pleasant feel, making it more durable, preventing it from deforming with washing, or even protecting it from extreme heat. The entire process is calibrated to the millimeter so that the product penetrates thoroughly without altering the texture or damaging the fiber. At the end of the tunnel, what emerges is not just fabric, but a product ready to withstand daily use and perform its function without failure. After this, the fabric undergoes a thorough review. Specialized operators, with the help of automated sensors, inspect every meter for imperfections, stains, or minimal variations in texture. This is where it's decided whether the fabric can become quality clothing or if it needs to be reprocessed from scratch. If something doesn't meet the standards, that piece is removed from the batch and reprocessed. There's no room for error here. Only fabrics that pass all tests reach the cutting area, where they are rolled, packaged, and sent to garment workshops, clothing factories, or directly abroad. And so, that raw wool that came from a sheep's back ends up transformed into one of the most valued and versatile materials in the entire global textile industry. Finally, tell us, did you imagine this entire process? What's your favorite type of garment? Leave your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next factory tour.